Title, Escape Your Lioness in South Korea Meets a Grim End, a Safari Adventure or a Grim Reminder of Captivity. T.L.D.R. A lioness named Sassini escapes from a South Korean farm and causes mass panic, leading to a search operation involving 100-plus police officers and evacuation of campers. The big cat was found and shot dead, and there are unanswered questions surrounding the incident like whether there were attempts to tranquilize her. Oh, oh, did we mention it's not the first escape? South Korea's Great Cat Chase Monday was not your ordinary day in the southeastern county of Goryeom, South Korea. Campers waking up to a lioness on the loose. Sounds like a plot from a thrilling movie, but it was all too real. Named Sasumi, the lioness was reported to have escaped through a conveniently open back door. Was the door left open for fresh air, or was it something more sinister? From farm to fugitive in an hour. Within an hour, the lioness was discovered in bushes near the farm and then shot dead by authorities. A fire official had no comment on whether she posed a threat or if anyone even tried using a tranquilizer dart. Was it too early for proper lion chasing equipment? Is shooting first and asking questions later the new protocol for escaped animals? The farm offered public tours to view animals like a mini safari. Now, one might ask, are these safaris really safe for visitors, or even for the animals themselves? Not the first rodeo. And it wasn't South Korea's first zoo escape either. A zebra in Seoul and two chimpanzees in Daegu decided to go on their own adventures earlier this year. While the zebra was caught, one of the chimps tragically died after being shot with a tranquilizer dart. Are the zoos turning into an escape room challenge for animals? Public response and concerns. Authorities were quick to issue a safety alert, leading dozens of campers to briefly seek refuge in a town. Photos of the lioness before and after the shooting have been released, causing a stir online. The escape and subsequent death of the lioness surely raises eyebrows and questions on animal captivity, safety measures, and ethical considerations around handling such escape situations. So many questions, so few answers. Who was really responsible for the lioness's escape? Was there an attempt to save her life or was it doomed from the start? How do the recent zoo and farm escapes reflect on animal welfare and safety measures in South Korea? These are questions that can't be simply brushed under the rug. Provoking your thoughts. As we contemplate the tale of the lioness Sasuni, a larger narrative emerges about animal captivity, treatment, and our responsibilities. Are we failing our wild friends by keeping them confined, only to handle escapes with fatal force? Or is this an isolated event that's been sensationalized? What do you think? Is it time to rethink the way we interact with wildlife, or are these just inevitable mishaps in our attempt to stay connected with the wild? How should the authorities have handled this escape, and what does it say about our relationship with the animal kingdom?